What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Game of Thrones House of the Dragon. Yes. Yes. We're back. Another Sunday. Another Sunday. Another Sunday. We're back in the Game of Thrones mode. These two first episode of the series is absolutely incredible. Really does bring me back to the days of reacting to the original Game of Thrones, man. It was some good times. And the writing for the show is, is really good right now and it's doing justice to what we have come to know and love about the show and i'm living for it anyways guys before we jump into this episode i just want to let you guys know if you are enjoying the reactions man leave a like on the video don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and as well man if you guys want to check out more series that I've done, make sure you check out this channel. Make sure you check out my original channel. And also, there are shows available on the Patreon as well that is not all available on YouTube. So make sure you go and check those things out. Anyways, let's jump into this reaction. And I will see you guys right after for the review. Oh, crab man. Coming for you. The sea snake will have your boxy fucking head. Fuck you, Prince Treha. Fuck your whole mother and bastard. Is that really? Oh, he knows his name. No. No. And what is the deal with these crabs? Can crabs really Crabs really eat people like that? Comes. Here comes Damon. Oh my god. <laughs> well, he didn't give two shits about you. Wise, let's let's shoot fire. Oh, he got hit. Hey, yo. He has a son now. Two years old. I'm already off. And the kingly presence. He may yet, brother, but this morning he insisted on eating the porridge with his hands. <laughs> It will grow. I'm sure so this is like a two-year, maybe two years time skip. What is that, pray tell? It is Egan's second name day. His infancy is behind him. It only remains for Viserys to name him heir to the throne. I wouldn't be so sure. Then it lies with you to make him see it, Lord Hand. I bring urgent news from the state. Thailand. Lannister. The crab feeder has dug in for siege on Bloodstone while his men sabotage our fleet under the cover of dark. Not today, Tyler. The matter of the Stepstones is regrettably urgent. It's been three years. It can wait another three days. You know, there's another Not thing I want. Eat. One of the things that I would like to talk about with this king that I don't particularly like about him. <laughs> And it's true, man. And Damon speaks the truth. He's not very kingly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just something about him that comes off very soft. I don't know how else to say it. There's just something about his character that I just I can't I can't resonate with. It's just there's uh, there's parts of his character that I really like, which is, you know what I'm saying? There's this side of him that's really like not only empathetic. But he, it's like, 
he's not a very proactive king. Let's say that. He's not a very proactive king. He's more of a reactive king. Like, it's like stuff got to happen and, and then he reacts to it. Like, he's not, he, he, he's not very proactive about things. He's like, he's not about the business. You know what I'm saying? He's not about the business of being king. It's more of like other things kind of take priority. Like, he's more concerned with other things. It kind of worries me a little bit about him. With the trial here now sheltering in Bloodstone's case, the threat of the dragons is blunted. They don't have foot soldiers. But their cell swords have been withdrawing in droves, Your Grace. Even the mercenaries can see that it is a losing effort. Where's Rhaenyra? If the Crown were ever to intervene... Thailand. Now is the time. Damon and the Sea Snake started their war without His Grace's leave. Were he to intervene now, after so long, it would make the crown appear weak. Can someone tell me where in the seven hells Rhaenyra might be? Under her ships. Rhaenyra? Her yes, my queen. Your presence is wanted in the outer courtyard. The royal hunt ready to depart. Decided to remain here and read instead. You may go, Samwell. You are to stay by order of the princess. The queen commands you to leave the godswood at once. <laughs> Princess. And he just chilling by this damn tree. All right. What was the name of this tree again? He wants for us all to be together. Perhaps the hunt could be fun. Is it the king's command? Yes, but it... Then at once, your grace. But it needn't be... Yeah, she feeling some sort of way about this entire ordeal. I, I don't blame her. Yeah, I mean, I mean, she is still the named heir, so she's. It's like she's just waiting to see if if they're going to um, name someone else at some point. My lord husband says that no king has ever been able to tame the stepstones for long. It's an inhospitable place suited only for savages. Perhaps the princess can give us some insight. <sighs> oh, I'm not sure how I could. I've never been to the stepstones. Your dear uncle is the great mind behind this war, is he not? I wouldn't know. I've not spoken to Damon in years. The crown is at war, princess. Though your father refuses to admit it, we've been dragged into it by your uncle and the sea snake. And how have you served the realm of late, Lady Red Wine? By eating cake? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the King's Wood. It's fine hunting ground. But the best sport is to be found at Castley Rock, near my home. Have you been? Um, once. On tour with my mother when I was young. Mm. Honestly, can't recall much of that, either. It must be quite something. Mm, I don't have a dragon pit, of course, but... I do have the means and resources to build one. Why would you need a dragon pit? He's trying to court you. To house dragons, of course. I'd do anything for my queen. Or... Lady Wife. She's not interested, dude. Move on. <laughs> Is that what I am to you? A prize to proffer about to the great houses. You're of age, Rhaenyra. Jason Lannister is an excellent match. He's arrogant and self-serious. Well, I thought you might have that in common. E Since you <laughs> came of age, I've been slowly drowning in a lake of parchment flung from every corner of the realm. Marriage proposals all. I have tried often to discuss it with you. But you've refused me at every turn. That is because I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. Uh, excuse me, Your Grace. It's like, why are you having this conversation here, though? Sheesh. You must marry. I mean, she literally got to wait. The thing about Renera is this, right? She got to understand that you can't, 
either way, you can't... All right, look at it from this point of view, right? You're not going to become queen or, uh, or succeed the throne. You're not going to succeed the throne unless... Uh, unless the king dies, unless your father dies, right? Or I think I think that's how it works, right? I think he has to die. Like, he, um, I mean, he can, you know what I'm saying? Or if he comes too sick to rule. I think those are the two things who would cause her to become queen as she is the heir, the heir right now, right? So look at it this way. You still got to wait a long time. You expect the king to not take on a wife, have more kids in that time? Like, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? You can resent the king all you want. You know what I'm saying? I get it. She doesn't want to get married. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So forcing her to do that is not, you know, the best thing or whatever the situation is. Um, not in agreement with that. If she doesn't want to get married, she doesn't want to get married. So... But I get it, though. You know what I mean? It, it's like, in other words, you know, sometimes the father doesn't want the daughter to, you know, waste their life, you know, and then regret it later. But, you know, if she doesn't want to do it, she doesn't want to do it. We should return to camp, Princess. Mm. It's a beautiful day. We should take in the king's mix. How lucky you are to have a say in your own life. Many in the realm would gladly trade positions with you, Princess. Only because none of them has ever held my position. <laughs> this is so it's 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 like Jon Snow and Daenerys all over again. <laughs> the 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 imagery is so, the contrasting is so similar. Your grace. How far? The droppings were found half a league to the east. Oh. Still fresh. Between two and three hours, your grace. My best scout spied him. The beast I know is not, this man is not twiddling now. shit in his hand right now. And his for beer hands for that matter. <laughs> And on this day of all days, I've never been one for signs of importance, Your Grace. But if the gods did wish to show their favor, thank you for your generosity. Did the Targaryens bring their sep? Their the did this religion come from them? The seven thing. What I offer you, the crown and your daughter. Strength. Do you think that House Targaryen wants for strength? When someone offered you more dragons, would you not take them? Do you have dragons to offer? Rhaenyra may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? If you were to name young Aegon heir, Your Grace. And when would I be doing that? I had assumed, as he is your firstborn son, many <laughs> of us had assumed. Many of us, you say. Have your bannermen questioned my choice of heir? Of course not, Your Grace. It is your sworn duty to report rebellion stirring in my kingdom. Rebellion? There has been nothing of the sort, Your Grace. I, 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 I did only... not decide to name Manera my heir on a whim. Your Grace. <laughs> What do you make of Lord Jason's proposal? That man's pride has pride. You're not only Rhaenyra's father, you're the king. She'll do as you command. It is not my wish to command her, Aldo. There is another choice beyond Castle Rock. One perhaps you might be more comfortable with, one closer to home prince egon what
He's two! The boy just turned two, Otto. Yes, but it would cease the endless proposals for Ramirez's <laughs> hand. Betrothed them. I came to Plus, is his to be sister? <laughs> Fucking politicking! Let us speak no more of it. Then I already know that last, last episode... It pissed off a lot of people because of the, you know what I'm saying, the girl that was 12 or whatever. Um, Viseri, what's his name? Valerian, whatever his name is. Um, it pissed off a lot of people. I saw some, I, not on my channel, but I, I saw it on other people where they're like, why are they doing this? Why it's like this or whatever. But it... You got to understand, man, incest was a very regular thing back in the day. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, people like to pretend like this stuff never happened. You know what I'm saying? Or people will say, well, they still, they don't have to do it. They can keep it in the realm. But this show is not for, it's not for kids. P point blank, period. Game of Thrones is not for children. Children should not be watching this show. So if you're worried about children being influenced or whatever the situation is, guys, you're watching the show. It's fiction. Stop getting upset about how people write what they're writing. Yes, they don't have to include this stuff into the story. They don't They don't have to write a story like this. But this is what the, the source material is saying. So you get what I'm saying? They say, oh, they could change it for TV. Why? Why do they have to change it for TV? No, they don't. They don't have to change anything for TV just because, you know, you're not comfortable with it. No, they don't. And I don't agree with that. I don't I don't agree with you censoring stuff. This is actually stuff that used to go about back in those medieval times. Incest was to further bloodlines. It used to happen all the time. I'm not saying I'm OK with it. But at the end of the day, it's fiction, man. Get out your feelings. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that it's like they doubled down. It's like, oh, we did a 12 year old. Oh, we gonna do a two year old. This time <laughs> piss people off even more. <laughs> Truly great Targaryen king I am. Powerless over my own daughter of seven and ten. Do you wish to hear my opinion on the matter? You believe that your son, Sahaw in Breakbones? The strongest knight in the Seven Kingdoms is the best match for an era. You flatter me, Your Grace, but no. Some years ago, I counseled you to take his sister to wife. My reasoning remains the same. Lenor is of pure Valyrian descent. He shares blood with your cousin, the Princess Renice, And he is the heir to the wealthiest house in the realm. The breach between your houses has not narrowed since I last spoke of it. It would do much to assuage Lord Corliss of any slights, real or imagined. We must pray, of course, that Lenor survives the fighting in the Stepstones. Do you think the Ram will ever accept me as their queen? I don't know. I have no choice but to, Princess. Well, I wonder if he's going to end up killing this damn white whatever they've been waiting on. I think he's going to end up killing this thing that he's not supposed to kill. That the king is supposed to kill. I think that's what's going to happen. Yep. <laughs> Yo. gonna have to kill it that was dangerous could have end up stabbing her in the face I think that's the the hag <laughs> the hog okay that he's supposed to kill tomorrow or whenever 
that they've been tracking. I named her to protect the realm from Damon. She was my only child. The realm's delight. I named her heart of love. Because I no longer believe. Many in my line have been dragon riders. Very few among us have been dreamers. What is the power of a dragon? It's the power of prophecy. The hour is too late, husband. When Rhaenyra was a child, I saw it in a dream. A male babe, born to me, wearing the Conqueror's crown. I sought that vision again, night after night. But it never came again. My obsession killed Rhaenyra's mother. Viserys. I thought Rhaenyra was the way out of my abyss of grief and regret. That naming her heir would begin to set things right. Oh, it did. I never imagined I would remarry. What if I was wrong? Starting to doubt his decision. Oh, I guess it wasn't the. Uh, uh. You may not be white, no, Grace. Things are big, lad. CGI is big. Yo, CGI has come so far, man. Right here, your Grace. <laughs> It's not dying? What was happening right now? One more time, your grace. Put a bit to your left. At the very least, you could have hunted it. And hunted it is just like they caught it for you and you kill it. <laughs> I guess it's like the the gods speaking because he showed up to Rhaenyra. Not gonna lie though, I would love to see her. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see her ascend to the throne. You know what I'm saying? Like as each episode go by, I'm starting to like her more and more. <laughs> I love how she's out here pretending like she is <laughs> the one. Well, I say if if dude wasn't there, you wouldn't be so high and mighty right now. Do you not want your son to be king? My mother wouldn't. You mustn't ignore the certain truth that if Rhaenyra were to step over Aegon to ascend the throne, the realm would tear itself apart. They all swore obeisance to her. Our house among them. That was before Aegon. Would you have me raise a man to steal his own sister's birthright? It is Aegon that's being robbed. He's the firstborn son of the king. To deny that he is heir to the throne is to assail the laws of gods and men. You must guide Viserys towards reason. He'll never find it on his own. Rhaenyra has come of age. She must needs marry a high lord who will honor her, defend her, and serve her as king consort. Her wishes in this matter are irrelevant. I do believe that Rhaenyra will marry your grace. But she must believe it is her choice to do so. What's this? A letter. From Vaemon Valarian. He's fighting in the Stepstones with all the rest of them. Everybody fighting except you, king. What's good? This is a plea for aid. Then why not send it? Because it is a war started by two malcontents, unhappy with decisions I made. If I now provide Damon and call his sugar, what will that say of their king? Perhaps that he is a good man who loves his brother. 
Well, if you truly believe that, my dear, then you possess a generous spirit. Is it better for the realm if the crab feeder thrives or is vanquished? Or, <laughs> you know, your dignity. Make haste because at this point, you got to intervene, bro. Prince Damon yourself. At once, your grace. Damon is thorn enough in my flesh. Will you insist on taking after him? Must everything be a battle? If you refer to attempt to marry me off to Casterly Rock. I am sorry, Rhaenyra. I was trying to help you. Will you not be helped? Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted? The boy you always wanted. You have him in hand now. You have no further use for me. You might as well peddle me for what you can, to ships. You have misjudged me, Rhaenyra. Oh, know it. It is true that as rulers, we must marry for advantage, to forge alliances and bolster our strength. You have always understood this. You've been much alone these last few years, alone and angry. I will not live forever. I wish to see you contented, happy even. You think a man would do it? A family. I had a family. What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. You must marry. Strengthen your own claim. Shore up your succession. Multiply. As to your match. Make it yourself. She knows her father loves her, you know. Bacon, father and daughter. That's something that happens all the time. <laughs> I did waver, but I swear to you now. On your mother's memory. Not gonna you change his mind. Well, you made her a promise. Honor moms. You can't renege ever again, my guy. Because if you do, we're going to hold you accountable. The crab feeder and his men have no reason to leave those caves. We must give them one. An offering of flesh to bait the crab. Who? Dragon returning! Show me the knight who will march into that helping nephew, and I will show you a madman. Damon. Damon is why we are losing. He at least is fighting this war. No. If King's Landing will not support Damon, why should any of us? Blood or no, Vaymond, I will not have you stoke mutiny. So they don't know that help is coming yet? If you do not seize control of this war, my lord, the crabs will soon dine on all of us. I bring word from His Grace Viserys Targaryen. First of his name, King of the Andals, the Roinar, and the First Men. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Brother, I have ordered ten ships and two thousand men to set sail from King's Landing. Know that it is not my desire to see you fail in your cause. It is instead my hope that this aid will deliver the victory that has thus far evaded us. This dude is... You know? <laughs> really? White flag. Really now? <laughs> Get his ass, David. Yo. Hey, yo. He's out here, bruh. Woo, that boy running. 
There's one man on a mission here. Ooh. Oh, are they sending more? Yo, yo, he's gonna have a whole army in the caves. This is a problem, Damon, and you're hurt. Where's the, where's the backup? Oh, they, they pulled up. The episode is going to end, isn't it? Who is that? Who is that? Who is this? Dragon! Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, bro. Like, ooh. I can't tell who it is. <laughs> this is brought out his torso. <laughs> Bruh. They did it before the help came, but who is that? And Damon the King. Um, other than Damon the King, Renera, and you know the Aegon that just you know that is two years old. Who else is a Targaryen? Shouldn't it be only Targaryens that could ride dragons? I, I'm, I don't get it. I, I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused, so enlighten me guys in the comment section if I'm missing something here because this who is on this dragon and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doesn't look like Renera though. It doesn't even sound like it's a it's a woman. I was thinking that maybe it is Renera, but what is that's not um that's not Rhaenyra's dragon, though. That's a that's another thing. I'm a little confused, but let's get into the review. This episode was was a very good episode, nonetheless. And that's that's one of the things that I told you guys that I enjoy about watching House of the Dragon, Game of the Thrones, whatever you want to call it, right? One of the things that I enjoy about this series is the dialogue in the show. I could listen to these people speak for days on end. I just love the dialogue. Um, it's not necessarily how the people speak. It's about what they're talking about. It's just the way how they convey information, the cadence of how they deliver their lines is just really good. Even though you know that it's something that's written for them to write. And it even in sometimes like nobody has conversations like this. Like nobody really talks like this. It's not something that we used to, you know what I'm saying? It's not casual talking, but they make this it's it's like i don't know if you guys have ever read the bible it's kind of like when you read it when you read in the bible and you hear thou shalt not and all of this other stuff and it's like that stuff is it's not appealing you get what i'm saying because it's not how we naturally talk today you know what i'm saying um if i don't know if that's how they used to talk back in those days it gotta be because you write how you speak right you can't imagine how painful that would be to listen to but you know, um, but at the same time, you got to look at the facts and be like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. That's how they talk. So everybody would have been used to each other. But 
when you watch a show like this and you hear people talk like this, and you're like, nobody has conversations like this, right? This is not the way out people speak. You know what I'm saying? When I was seven and 10, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just say 17, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or maybe they just didn't count past 10 back in those days. Maybe it was just, you know what I'm saying? The numbers goes up to 10 and it's like, they just add from, from that. They, they would be like, um, 10 and 10 or 10. 10 and 10 and 10 if they want to say 30 so stuff like that is just really fascinating to me when you hear it because it just it just comes off and they make it sound so smooth right so the conversations that happen here of course the king is like urging Rhaenyra to get married you know to further the bloodline and you know spread multiply you know what I'm saying so they can secure the Targaryen line because it's like they're dying off you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's encouraging her and she's like, nah, I'm not doing that. Even presented, you know, Jason Lannister to her and she wasn't into him. And, you know, she felt some sort of way about it. And as I said during the episode as well, I would love to see Rhaenyra ascend the throne, the throne, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. If it does, then great. But more and more as we go along with the episodes, I'm loving her character a lot more because of the people around her you know what i'm saying and the the underestimation of just looking down on her it's so palpable um among the land you know what i'm saying so they did a two-year time skip pretty much from episode two to three you know the war is on damon is is fighting the war over there in the stepstones and you know they're losing you know what I mean? Like they can't get a foothold um, until at the end of the episode, of course. But Veneris, um, Veneris, v v I, v Valeris, is it Valeris or Veneris? I, I, Valer I can't remember the king's name for shit. Anyways, he refused to send help because he's like, if, you know, they started the war on their own, let them finish it on their own. As a king, you cannot look at things like that. You get what I'm saying? You can't look at it like that. It makes you, I understand where he's coming from. Where it's like, if he get involved now, people will think that the crown is weak, but you cannot look at things like that. You are the one in charge of the realm. So if there is a faction that is going against anybody in the realm, you need to get involved. No matter if it's somebody that's out here in one of the seven realms that started the war, you gotta, if they want, if they need help and they're losing, you gotta send help, man. You know what I'm saying? So I think that in some ways, you know what I mean? As I said at the beginning of the episode, it's, it's just that he's making me, at first I really liked him as king, but then when you see how he makes decisions or when he makes decisions, as I describe him as like, he's a very reactive type of person. You cannot be reactive. In certain circumstances, you can be reactive as a leader, but for the most part, 99% of the time, you need to be proactive about things. Some things are going to catch you off guard, but when they catch you off guard, you got, you got caught off guard. So it's understandable when you are reactive in those circumstances, but as a leader, you got to be proactive about majority of decisions that you make. So, um, and he's very, I don't know. I don't want to say he procrastinates a lot. It's just that the things that he that he puts as priority is not really priority. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, cause it, there's even when circumstances are very urgent, like how, you know, other, um, Tylen Lannister came to him and was like, yo, they're losing the war. Are you going to send help? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's, what's good. And he's like, you know, today is my, you know, we're celebrating something. Who cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? Pretty much what he does. He just kind of shrugged it off. You know what I mean? And it's like, um, the whole situation that's going on with Rhaenyra, I feel where she's coming from and I understand how she feels about it. Cause he's like, if it, this was about the realm, you would have chose Leona, whatever her name was, the, the 12 year old kid to marry, you know? And the thing about it is this, the reason why she said that to him is because you no, know, that she, he actually kind of fell for, you know, I'm saying, um, high tower girl whatever her name was i told you i'm not gonna remember this girl's name as much as i is it millicent uh <laughs> millicent what the, fuck? what the hell am i saying right now anyways it's something sent 
it's something said <laughs> anyways um you guys know who i'm talking about so basically she gave him a son she has another one on the way so i can understand where renera is coming from where she feels some sort of way about this entire ordeal because it, it's like she feels like she's been pushed out and you know she's being ignored but i think i you know because he's hesitating so much he said at one point he did consider you know naming his son as the as the new heir new hair right i can never say that word right <laughs> right but he assured her you know what i'm saying he put it on his mama <laughs> he put it on her mama i should say um, so now we're going to have to hold him accountable for that because if he decides to change his mind or whether the realm, you know what I'm saying? Chitter chatter in his ear might change his mind about this. You know, even Mr. Hightower Otto was trying to convince his daughter, now queen, to, to encourage him to name his son the heir. And he's like, you know, she's not with it. You know what I'm saying? She's not really with it. She's like, you know, Renera would make a great queen. Why should I encourage my son to essentially steal his sister's, you know, birthright? And here's the thing. I'm going to be real for two seconds here. Here's the thing. Um, this, this show is fiction. And I don't mean to bring it into the real world. But I like to draw parallels from shows and stuff like that. And I've talked about this multiple times in before. Women you know what i'm saying <sighs> women don't necessarily make the greatest leaders i'm not saying women women are not capable to lead i'm not saying that they should never lead i'm just saying a lot of times when women lead what do they do they start to become very masculine because that's the role that they have to take on if they want respect you get what i'm trying to say so in terms of that where i see that she hasn't really shown me any like masculine um there's certain things that she does where where you could say that she tapped into that a little bit um there you know what i mean so it's like that's what women usually have to become to even gain any modicum of respect see how she walked in pretending like she killed the boar pretending like she killed the boar that's how a man would walk in you know what i'm saying like a woman is doesn't demand presence like that just you know what i mean and it garnered some attention for her you know what i mean um so as i said i'm rooting for her i would love to see her become queen but as i said i don't think it's going to happen i'm rooting for her because of the character they're creating in the show and i think she would be strong in that leadership position i really do believe that um so i'm rooting for her to do that but the problem is if you're going to do that the whole marriage thing which is not a problem for her she's going to give that she's gonna probably give that up because i don't think the, the thing about it is this right even if she's queen and she marries a lesser house into a lesser house say not the valerians right if she if 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 she marries into a lesser house say the latter so when she become a queen what's gonna happen what what is the man going to be that she marries you know what i'm saying because the targaryen line has to continue right that's what they want to do a, 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 essentially a targaryen has to sit on the throne right so what are they going to do i'm i, I don't know you know what i'm saying i've seen videos of the of the history of game of thrones i'm gonna have to go back and watch some of those videos to really catch up on the history of what happened in, in, in you know what i'm saying in this prequel or whatever um i don't really want to spoil myself but i don't think that would be spoiling just kind of like seeing what the succession was um to kind of gauge what's going to happen but i also don't want to watch that because i don't want to remember if she did or not because it would be just a great moment if she actually does success the throne so i don't want to do that really so i'm just enjoying watching this this series right now and just watching her display you know that you know that she can lead and she has the capability to lead i hope that she get they give her more chances to show that in the show as well but her father the king he's soft man i'm not even gonna hold you he he real soft 
you acting real soft right now. Um, and you know what I'm saying? Damon is out here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not saying Damon has the, the best temperament, but if you take Damon's, um, aggressiveness, you know what I'm saying? And all of that other stuff, warrior battle, you know what I'm saying? Soldier kind of mentality that he has. And then you take Viserys's kind side, you know, very empathetic, you know what I'm saying? You would have the perfect king, but that's the thing. It's very rare that you would find people who are, who have both of those traits that can go along with. So that's the contrast between both of their characters. You know what I'm saying? Um, the king is more laid back. You know what I'm saying? He wants to live in peace with everybody. And then on the other hand, you have Damon, which is very upfront. He's in the midst of the battle. He's he getting down and dirty. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm glad that they, you know, figured out, well, we still need to know who the hell was on this, this new dragon that just pop, popped up out of nowhere. Who is this? You know what I'm saying? Um, where is he from? Where is he living? You know what I mean? Um, cause I don't think it's Renera, but Hey, if it is her, then cool, but it doesn't, it didn't sound like her at all. Um, so, um, I'm looking forward to watching episode four, of course, just as a public announcement, if you don't see episode four, next week that simply means i didn't get a chance to record it i will be leaving for vacation that night that it airs on sunday night actually next week sunday is my birthday i will be gone for a whole week so if you don't see the episode pop up on sunday night early monday morning or whatever um then you know that your boy did not get a chance to watch game of thrones before i left this but just as a warning so if you don't see the episode um next week i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get to do it though but i'm just giving you guys a, a warning here just in case you don't see it you're not asking in the comment section what you know what happened why why didn't you upload the episode or whatever the situation is so look forward to that anyways leave a like leave a comment it's your boy terabyte reacts i'm out peace